Do you want to decorate with fake plants in your home but don't really know how? Today I am sharing my top tips for decorating with faux plants as decor in your home. Hey everyone, I'm Coral and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, click that subscribe button down below and hit the bell for new videos every week. I love decorating with greenery. It's one of the main colors I use in my color palette for decorating my home. If you want to learn more about decorating with the color palette, at the end of the video, I'll tell you more about my free color palette crash course. So the problem that I have with decorating with greenery is that I have a black thumb. I am a total plant killer. I've tried it multiple times and I usually end up killing them, overwatering them, not watering them, you name it. I kill them. So I really love decorating with faux plants, not to mention that they're very popular right now. They always look really good and they're a lot less maintenance than real plants. You don't have to water them and they are a lot more kid and pet friendly. So if you want to decorate with faux plants too, these tips will help you add faux plants as stylish decor to your home. Artificial plants are a great way to add a pop of color and texture to your home. Like I said, greenery is one of the main colors in my color palette for my home, so I decorate with a lot of green plants. Now, I will say that I feel like greenery and green faux plants go well with a lot of different colors and can be fairly neutral. You can go for something even more neutral if you want to pick a faux plant that has a muted green color. Sometimes you can find some that are flocked and they'll have a little bit more of a white color to them, or you can pick something like white flowers that will be even more neutral in your room. You can also add more of a pop of color if you choose a fake plant that has some colored flowers in it. I have a couple of these throughout my home, but not too many because my color palette is mostly neutral. But there are a lot of brightly colored flowers on fake plants that you can add as well. And you can always use the pot or the container that the faux plant is in to add your pop of color as well. Next, let's talk about where to put them in your home. I have fake plants all throughout my house and on lots of different surfaces. Some of my favorite places to put them are on shelves, trays, and tables. Almost anywhere with a flat surface that needs some decor, I'll probably tend to put a fake plant on it. I also have some larger faux plants that I set on the floor in my home. If you pick a larger tree sized fake plant, you can use it to add decor in an area of your home where you wouldn't usually have decor. An example of this in our home is that I have a very large fake tree in the corner of our living room. Before I put this tree there, there was no other decor there and really nothing else can really go well in this corner. It's in the back corner of our living room. And the only thing that really looks good there is a fake tree. So I bought a very large one to take up a lot of space and add decor to a space that would have been empty otherwise. I also have a medium sized artificial tree in my office. I put it in a place that I wanted to add a little bit of extra decor to. I didn't need something quite as tall as the tree in my living room. So I went with something a little bit smaller. Now, if you have a medium sized faux plant, you can also use it to add decor to a space like this, but add a little bit of height to it by adding a plant stand. This will get it up off the floor a little bit and add height and decor to whatever area you're wanting to add it to. Next, I like to use fake plants in vignettes. A vignette is a small grouping of items that creates a focal point. So when decorating with faux plants on shelves, trays, tables, I will use them to create a vignette. This grouping of items will draw your eye and create pleasing decor. In my course, Design Your Dream Home, I have a whole module that is dedicated to how to create and use vignettes in your home. If you want to learn more about the Design Your Dream Home course, click the link down below in the description. You can also use faux plants to add height to a table or a shelf. I did this in my bathroom. I have some shelves that I installed on the wall in my bathroom and we have very tall ceilings so I wanted to draw the eye up. So I picked a very tall plant in order to do that. You can also do this on tables or dressers or trays. Whenever you are placing items on it, it looks a whole lot better if you don't have everything that is the same height. 
that is not as appealing to the eye. And like I mentioned before, larger tree-sized fake plants can help add height and decor to an area that would have been empty. My next tip is that you want to find fake plants that look real. The whole point of decorating with faux plants is to make it look like you're using real plants in your home. So you don't want them to look fake. It takes a careful eye to really look at some of these fake plants and pick out the ones that look real and not too fake. With this, the first thing that you wanna look for is leaves that look real. So you don't want them to be all one color. Real leaves have variation in colors. And you don't want ones that look too shiny or plasticky because that will be a dead giveaway that they are fake. Next, you wanna find some that have some realistic material where the plant attaches to the pot or the container. So this plant is a really good example of that. You can see that there are fake rocks down in the bottom of here and that looks real. You don't want to see foam or anything like that that wouldn't look real. At first glance, this looks like something that could be real. Another example of this is with fake flowers. Sometimes with fake flowers, you can see them in a clear vase like this. And if you look closely, there is a gel inside of here that makes it look like these flowers are actually in water. Another item that looks real and more realistic is moss. Sometimes you'll see this in some small faux plants in my large fake tree that I have in the living room. That one I had to pot myself and I put some moss around the top of it to make it look more real. One other thing that you can look for with how fake plants attach to the pot is you can find them like this plant where you can't actually see how they attach to the pot. If you look up closely with this one, the fake plant goes all the way to the edge of the pot and you can't really see how it is attached so nothing inside of it at the bottom looks too fake. With larger tree size fake plants, some other things that you want to look for in this aspect are trunks and stems that look realistic. Lastly, let's talk about where to buy fake plants. Knowing the best places to buy fake plants can help you find ones that look realistic and don't cost too much money. You have to be careful because some stores will charge way too much money for their faux plants. They are so popular right now that they really can get away with it. Generally, I follow some guidelines for pricing of fake plants. For small ones like this, they should cost around three to five dollars. And then the medium sized ones should cost you around 10 to $15. Now, of course, if you see something that you really like or have a coupon for, go ahead and buy it. But generally, those are the numbers that I like to stick to for buying my fake plants. My favorite places to buy fake plants at are at home. They have really great prices for their fake plants. Home Goods has a really large selection of fake plants. Some of them are a little expensive. Most of them are at a really good price. TJ Maxx also has a really good home goods section where I've gotten several of my faux plants and Kirkland's as well. With Kirkland's, sometimes they are a little bit more expensive, so you have to be careful, and it's best if you can find and use a coupon on them. With the larger artificial trees, you have to be even more careful because stores can get away with charging a lot of money for them. Most of them that I have seen online go for around $100, but you can find them for cheaper. You just have to be careful that they don't look too fake. For the more expensive ones, wait until you find a deal or a sale or search for a coupon and that will help you save money. Both of the fake trees that I have are fiddle leaf trees that I bought online from QVC. I will put a link to them and some other products that I mentioned down below in the description. I feel like QVC has really good quality fake plants, at least the ones that I have gotten, and they don't charge too much for them. One thing that you do have to keep in mind especially with the ones that I got, and I've seen this as well with other fake trees, is that sometimes you have to put them in a pot yourself. 
So I just bought some pots on Amazon for mine. The ones that I bought are actually rope baskets. It doesn't matter that they are not glass or ceramic because I'm not actually putting water inside of it. And then I used some foam to stuff around it and keep them in place and then the moss on the top to give it a realistic look for the part that you look at. As I mentioned before, I have a free course called the Color Palette Crash Course that teaches you the exact steps that you need in order to create a whole home color palette and get started decorating your home. To get it, just click on the first link down below in the description. That will take you to a page where I ask for your name and email address. Just pop in your name and email, that way I know where to send it. I also mentioned my Design Your Dream Home course. This is a course I created for new homeowners and anyone wanting to take their home from empty to expertly decorated. And in it, I have a module that is fully dedicated to creating and using vignettes in your home. If you're interested in the Design Your Dream Home course, there is a link down below in the description as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.